Hi there, it's Jenny from Ginger Ninja Crafts and I'm here today with the new release from Julia McNeil Designs. This one is called Perfect Petals and it was actually released yesterday, so I'm a day late. Um, so I'm just going to show you the collection and then I've made four cards, so I'm going to show you those as well. So this is the Perfect Petals collection. So these are the ladies. So you have lilac petals here oh it's gone a bit dark lilac petals who i think might be my favorite although it would be rude to have favorites obviously um this one here is fuchsia petals and then poppy petals and rosy petals and they are a very glamorous bunch as ever from julia and then if you buy the whole collection, then you also get the accessories, which is these gorgeous flowers and the sentiments. So I shall read them out because I can't figure out the screen if I'm doing it that way. Uh, let your dreams blossom. Girl, you are gorgeous. Stop and smell the roses. A simple life is a beautiful life. To plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow. A flower does not think of competing with a flower next to it. It just blooms. So that is what you get in the collection. And I should say before I forget, there is a discount code which is valid until midnight on the 2nd of March. Tuesday maybe? Um, so if you type in in capital letters, Petals 20, then you get the number 20, not letters, then you get 20% off the collection. So I have made um, four different cards. So this one I've already shared on the um, Crazy Crafty Hive Facebook group. So I just took the one of the sentiments, the one about... Um, a flower does not think of competing with a flower next to it, it just blooms. And I made a garland roundabout with some of the flowers from the accessories collection, fussy cut, and then I just popped um, lilac petals here. So, maybe a little close up to that. Um, and then I've just mounted it on some green kind of looks a bit like hessian but it's just printed paper and then there's a pale pink pearl behind it to map that up and then for fuchsia petals I had to make her kind of a bit of a fabulous pink um, and I used the sort of bluebell or I guess whatever you want to colour it really, but I did a kind of bluebell with it. So I just matted and layered up some newsprint with a bit of floral paper that was ripped, some pretty pink paper, and then the sentiment up here. And I've just added some little kind of gems. These ones always make me think of flowers. They've got the sort of little scalloped edge. So that is the second one. Then I did the rosy, so she has obviously got the stop and smell uh, the roses. So I made her a kind of corally colour and um, I've just added some rose print paper and some black and white stripey paper and some pearls because I felt like she was a bit more, a little bit more traditional maybe. I like this, I think that's a cute card and to layer it up I just coloured in a bit of white card to match her dress for that layer underneath so there's a black layer and then there's just some white card that I've inked up and then the last one is Poppy and I made her a sort of pastel -y colours so she's got a bit of pink and pale yellow and she says, let your dreams blossom. So I've used a bit of rose goldy kind of um, patterned paper with some script on it to make her stand out a wee bit more. And some little pink faceted, they're not gems because they're matte, they're like enamel dots with a kind of faceted edge. 
so that is her so that is the four cards that i've made for this collection um as ever i will share them on julia's facebook group where um anybody can share you can anybody can join it and share things you've made using the um julia's products whether that's the physical products like the papers and the stamps or the digital products and um, so you probably see this weekend a lot of um the perfect petals um, projects going up um, but and people are so creative on there i love seeing what people make little albums tags art journal pages cards gift bags um stamping onto fabric all sorts so if you're looking for some more inspiration that's definitely a great place to go so i'm gonna love you and leave you there if you've enjoyed the video please leave me a like and um why not say hi in the comments and if you're not a subscriber already i would really appreciate it if you subscribed thanks very much for watching and i will see you again very soon bye now